You're watching Poland Daily Business Edition and uh, Olaf Vojak of Adam Smith Center is our guest tonight. Sir, welcome to the show. Good evening. Oh, the Poland and Euro, uh, we just finished the electoral campaign to the um, European election. Sadly, the entering or not of the Euro was not a main focus of this campaign, although the thing is very interesting. Yes, there were some politicians who were talking about it, and uh, it's it's quite interesting since there are lots of problems with Euro uh, on the European market. Uh, Italy, Spain, uh, Finland, these are countries which really have big problems with being in Eurozone. And um, yesterday, uh, Adam Smith Center and uh, National Bank of Poland uh, had a joint conference about uh, bringing or not Euro to Poland. And uh, there was an expose of uh, the president of National Bank of Poland, um, Adam, Gl Adam, Glapiński. Uh, Adam Glapiński, and um, he, he put a very strong statement that it's not an interest uh, of Poland, of Polish economy, of, of having a euro uh, in Poland. What were the of, arguments? Of exchanging Polish zloty, which is a strong currency uh, currently in, in Poland, in Europe, and uh, it's well known in the world. There are lots of investors investing in Polish zloty uh, if they want, if they're looking for a stable currency. And it's not in our own interest uh, to... L lower lower our income and this trade has like two sides the side number one is mm -hmm. the Polish lot we independence uh, the cushion uh, potential to uh, sta stabilize Polish economy if the b bad things bad times will come on the other option is the access to the lower percentage of uh, loans of uh, higher uh, stability that is ensured by the bigger economical being as the European Union? I'm not sure if it's a higher stability. The percentage, it's, uh, the difference is uh, 1.5, 1, 1. so it's not really a big difference um, uh, be between Euro European countries in Eurozone and Poland. Uh, we have the influence on our economy. This is the most important thing, that we can decide what to do. We can lower, uh, we can lower the percentages, we can, we can hire them, we can, uh, uh, we can have uh, exactly uh, each, exact amount of money on the market uh, we don't print print it or, or we can print it it's it's all because of our decisions not because of some decisions made in Brussels so uh, I believe and this is what mr. Adam Glapiński uh, said that it's it's in our own best interest that we as Poles would decide about our own economy not some 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 other countries Were and they presented uh, any projections regarding the fate of the euro in the upcoming years <laughs> Well, Americans uh, are questioning in themselves how come euro is still on the market uh, because their economists said it's it's already supposed to be out uh, and uh, it's probably because of a uh, very large propaganda in, in European uh, Union uh, and because of the countries that are in eurozone uh, the propaganda that's uh, saying that it's a the best thing that could happen to Europeans, but it's not. We can see that countries that ha are in Eurozone are uh, are weaker right now. Their economy is weaker. Uh, they're not doing as well. You have to compare them as countries that with what were were there before they had Euro in, in as, as a main currency, because we our uh, democracy is young right now. We are a young country, a f young free country, well, almost free, let's say, uh, but uh, still young. We, we're, we're not freed after World War II. We had uh, 60 years of occupation by, by Russians. And uh, uh, so our economy is still weak, but it's, it's, it's young. And they already had uh, lots of years to build their economy, and they just weakened it up with, uh, with uh, having Euro as their currency. So right now, uh, only Brussels is talking about having us euro. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Those well, countries do understand our point of view. One of the arguments uh, that uh, comes up with the euro is saying that by entering the euro, we are essentially giving up the control of our economy to Germans. And we are becoming a part of the organism that's not ruled anymore by Poles. So maybe it will not work in our best interest. Well, uh, because the euro is a politician, political being, and uh, created in order to fasten the unification and federalization of Europe. 
it is one of the opinions that the Germans would decide, but I want to believe that European Union, it's not only Germans, it's uh, all of the countries, but French, it doesn't really matter. In our own best interest is having our own government decide what's best for us or not. We elect them, we decide. Uh, we have uh, a lot of experts, which re economic experts, well known on, 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 on the whole world, and. We, I, I believe we really uh, yeah. know what's best for our economy. And you have to always remember that what's, what's best for Poland, it's not always best for Europe. Mm -hmm. We Professor, should be the leader. We should right, be the leader right, of uh, economic uh, influence of the world. And we have the possibility. If we would have Euro, we would be just like a younger brother, you know, put put in a in a box with all the others. What is uh, interesting, the OECD uh, print, publish their data and it comes out that Poland is fourth country in the world, in the 46 countries of the OECD, mm -hmm. in terms of the economical development. Our economical development is uh, almost uh, 4.2. Indonesia, the next mm -hmm. best country, is 5.1. Uh, above the Indonesia is uh, only China and India. So fourth place in the world in terms of the economic growth this means something and uh, i believe since last year it's a value it's a it's a big value we are in this international um, uh, we are on the top of this international list either as a business location or as a fast developing economy and i think uh, this has been noticed worldwide the question to you is whether on the conference has been any contradictory notes like they say, had, had you had a speaker who said we should join Europe? Unfortunately not. Uh, I, I, I thought that there was a big lack of, of, of the other voice, but uh, it's quite logical since, uh, I mean, it, it's really... <coughs> Organizers it don't like Euro. Adam Glapiński of uh, no, the Polish I mean, National Bank does not like Euro and thinks it's not if beneficial someone, to Poland. So why? Well, if someone says Euro is good for us, uh, he's probably paid by European Union. I mean, it's it's obvious. It's something that, that's we not going Lithuania to make our economy better. We have Euro for political reasons, and people of Lithuania massively purchase their goods in Poland because Slovakia their price uh, is higher. The same is Slovakia. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, though, you can ask people uh, that uh, that live live in those countries and ask them if they're happy with the euro, and, and they will tell you that that it really didn't go to the the, the exact uh, location they were they wanted. They don't earn as much money as Europeans and as, as the other countries like Germany, France, and and uh, Belgium. Uh, but they still have to pay much more for for everything uh, on on on. So on there is a built-in inequality in a system of uh, financial development of the United Europe. Our president, uh, our president of, of Adam Smith Center yesterday told on the conference, he, he, he built a story, he, he, he told a story of, of uh, uh, all currencies that were trying to put up all countries together and each time they, they collapsed I, because right. there is no common interest in building one economy. Always there are countries that want to decide for themselves and they use the, the, the common uh, currency uh, to weaken the others. Very interesting discussion. I have. A s I think it will be continued in the future. Olaf Vojak, so. Adam Smith Center was our guest. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. And that was it for this part of Poland Daily Business.